Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with my review of the legendary Black Lion, and this will also be a review of the combined form of all five of them. I apologize it took me so long to get this out. Um, as I stated in the original review of the Core 4, well I guess there's not a Core 4, but anyway, uh, I could not find this guy. Finally got my hands on him after a few shenanigans, otherwise I would have put them all in one review. But, anyway, here we are. So let's just go ahead and get started right off the bat, just taking a look at him um, on his own. Um, if you couldn't tell, he is larger than the other lions by a little bit. Um, he's a little bit higher of a price range because he has electronics and all that stuff. Uh, bigger box and all that stuff. That's like, I guess, is that going to be the catchphrase of this review? Every now and then there's a certain catchphrase in a review. But overall, uh, he's pretty decent looking. Oddly enough, he's probably one of my more favorite, like, individual designs. But I can't quite put my finger on it. But just as far as the toy goes, there's something about him that just doesn't quite look as good as some of the other ones. I'm not sure what it is. It's just maybe something with the proportions. Um, I also wanted to make note, something I completely forgot to mention um, in my original Legendary Lions review. I caught it in the basic figures, but there are pieces of like gray plastic throughout the designs on all the lions that is supposed to be white. Like right here, you can see the white on his mouth. And that does kind of bother me. I still think the lions overall are good toys, but that little bit bothers me. I mean, it might have something to do with plastic costs or something. I'm not sure. I'm not a toy scientist, but um, that does bother me. That's the only detail thing that bothers me. This, it's kind of like a, a redux on my previous review is that I still like them, but I just wish that they didn't have that weird gray plastic. It's not as bad as the regular figures, though. Um, anyway, he does feature some articulation, uh, like his, his little arms can move here, which is going to be a feature of the, you know, actual robot. These move here. They bend, which is going to be a feature of putting them away. Uh, these move and bend a little bit too. Uh, these can move out a little bit because of transformation. But So basically like the others, you can get him in some sort of lion posing poses. His head moves down a little bit because of uh, the transformation. Uh, you can open his mouth a little bit because of, you know, the helmet. And I don't think there's a way to separate it. So you're going to be able to see that, but at least you can control that. Um, but yeah, you got the wings up here, which you can lay flat if you want. You can expand out, uh, just like you'll be able to do with the robot. Uh, they're on a little hinge. They will come out if you pull hard enough. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for him without his electronics. Now he does have electronics, so we're going to turn it on here. Uh, there's no activation noise, so if you were waiting for it like I just was, because I'm used to everything having activation noise. So this thing, I believe that the box touts 50 phrases or something like that. I might miss a few throughout the review. Just warning, I'll try to get as much as I can. He's going to have unique phrases for when he, not all around unique, but certain ones that will be unlocked at different stages. Like right now, I'm going to press a button as many times until we hit a repeat or two of just the lion mode. There's going to be distinct ones for when it's all together, and there's also distinct ones for the fact that it recognizes when you don't have uh, certain lines attached, which is pretty neat. So anyway, uh, there's a button right here. You can see there's a little light coming from under here. Uh, we'll see that more in the robot mode. Voltron is the only thing that can stop Zarkon. Let's assemble Voltron and get rid of these Gora. Form Voltron! We need to increase firepower. Systems compromised. Are you going to destroy him or go on the defensive? Wait, they said offensive. Why am I talking? Let's light this thing up. Fire lasers! We will save the universe! So... Let's light this thing up. You get the general idea. Fire they're, lasers! They're going to light things up, you know, Christmas tree, all that. So yeah, you get a bunch of phrases when it's just like this. Okay, so I'm going to do the prep for him. I already left the other lions prepped just to save time, so if you want to see how to do that, just check out my other video. It'll be linked somewhere here, probably in the playlist. A bunch of different options for you to check it out if you want to. Okay, so for this, just lift this little compartment up, and you're going to fold these right in. I actually really like this. It just kind of, like, very neatly hides them. No, we're transforming, you idiot. But uh, it kind of reminds me of like the arms. I just like how really neatly they can seal away. Now for these, you're basically just going to pull them straight down. And they're going to just uh, plug straight into the legs, which is kind of nice. So you don't have to do any weird folding. Um, so it's, it's neat. Um, this, you just fold it straight down. And boom, there's the helmet. And then these, there's little um, like 
shelves, I guess, that come off for your fingernail. I purposely left my fingernails a little bit long for this. So that's the best way to latch it on and, you know, be able to pull that out. So yeah, there you go. There you have it. Um, I'm going to do the legs first. It's going to be easier, and then I'm going to reposition the camera. So i um, got yellow right here. I, as I noted last time, there's this little thing here. You basically just stick it straight in. You know how it is. Okay, so just to prep you for what's about to happen here, guys. I that was too far. So it's going to make distinct noises when you um, attach them. So I'm going to highlight that and I, okay, let's, let's just, let's do it instead of me talking. Let's just, just do it. And then it doesn't happen. Classic. Okay, so that is a distinct noise uh, for, for Hunk there. I think it's Hunk. Did I forget it? No, it's Hunk. Okay, so um, it will make different noises when you put them on. There's a little... Fire up the green lion. We're coming in hot. So push this little button here to remove it. And it'll say that phrase. We're still missing the blue lion. So see, as you can see, it's recognizing that I don't have certain lions. But so it'll make different noises when you, when you attach or detach. So that, so that's neat. Um, I'm gonna get into that with the arms. I don't know if the arms do that, like if they have different phrases, but I'm not removing those and unremoving them. Blue lion, ready for action. Okay, so that's cool. I'm gonna remove this once. Let's play it cool. I'm right there with you. We need to increase firepower. Okay, so it'll say different phrases whenever you pull it on and off, basically, is what I was getting at. That was a bit messy, and I apologize. So now that I only have two on there, when you press this... We need the red lion! We need the red lion! Pinch, fire up the green lion! We're coming in hot! It basically recognizes that you don't have other lions on it, um, and specifically, which is just really neat, honestly. I like that a lot. Okay, so... Um, I'm gonna basically put the arms on, and then reposition the camera, because... He has a bit of a hard time standing, so you don't need to see me sitting there fiddling with it. So the arms, you just pull these little pieces out, and then they stick right in here. Fire up the green line. Except you want this We're facing this way, with this clear piece here, because it kind of lines up like a puzzle piece. So... Green lion. All systems go. Thanks, not Bex. Okay. I'm trying my best not to hit the button. Green. Got him. Blue lion, ready for action. Red lion, ready for battle. Green lion, all systems go. Yellow lion engaged. Red, green, black, blue, and yellow lions detected. Voltron, operational. Voltron complete. Targeting road beast. Okay, I'm sorry you had to watch that transformation, or he listened to that transformation noise with me holding it like this, but it's just kind of hard to get it to stand up, so I'm just going to go ahead and reposition now. Okay, so we have them all together. Like I said, sorry. I, it was just going to be, I would have rather have you seen the chest light up than seen me finagling with the feet while it did the transformation noise. So yeah, as you heard, it will have different noises when you plug them individually in, and when you press the button, it will recognize the fact that you don't have certain lions on, which, like I said, really cool. Also of note, I'll talk about it probably again in a second, but I forgot to mention the tail that's behind him, which you can't see because, spoiler alert, I'm actually holding up against the wall here. Um, you just want to fold the tail up into his back. So I'll show that when I pick it up again. But there it is. Very impressive. Um, it's not the most proportionately accurate one. That's going to be for the ultimate Voltron, but still... I think it looks good, and it's just kind of an impressive feat, in my opinion. And I, I um, an impressive feat. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. You got, you can leave now. I, I apologize. No, but um, I still like the way it looks. You're gonna like the way it looks. But yeah, um, like I said, my main problems with the details are just the parts that are supposed to be white that are silver. But that's really about it. Uh, but. I think it looks pretty good. You got the face there. Like, it's funny because when I saw it, I'm like, wow, he's really frowning. Does he really look like that? And then I looked at a picture on the box. I'm like, oh, yeah, he was frowning. But, yeah. And it's just a really neat, impressive feat. Um, 
just fun collection wise like getting all these individual lions which for the most part look pretty good on their own they're cool to have and then being able to make this accomplishment here at the end is just cool okay so um he does have a bit, little bits of articulation which i'll go over in a minute and i'll sort of pick him up and i'll put the sword in him and well that came out dirty uh but first of all we're just going to do the sounds uh like i said it's going to lose its voice just like i did for a second there um but it's going to have different sounds um, now that they're all together, so I'll try to hit most of them. Pitch! Form shield! But shield can't take much more of this! I know, Hydra's after him! We need to increase firepower! We got you, buddy! Let's light this thing up! Fire lasers! Now we go on the offensive! Time to armor up! Lance! Hulk! Give me full reverse thrusters! Roger! Engaging lower thrusters! Pitch! Form shield! Roger that! Let's do it! Keep sword! Okay, so as you can see, it's on a random system. So you'll think, oh, we cycled back. And then you'll get more sounds. But basically, what you're getting is you have some of the same sounds that we heard in the individual lion, but now you're also getting some mixed in with replies from the other uh, pilots. Um, so that's neat. Obviously, unless I'm insane, which is just true, but just in this case, they definitely don't sound like their counterparts. I think the other four sound more like they're trying, but maybe it's just me. Black Lion's voices don't sound like Shiro. They just sound like generic action hero number three. And I just said generic. The generic action hero actor's name is generic. Everyone knows this. But so... That's kind of a drawback. It would be even cooler if they sounded just like the show. Um, the sounds are cool. There's a lot of sounds. I love the fact that it recognizes when you don't have certain lions. It's cool, for sure, and kids will get a, a kick out of it. But even when I was a kid, I was like, hey, I wish that sounded like the real dude. Like, remember the Lost Galaxy figures that had in-space voices? Anyway, so um, you can put the sword in his hand, which you put together via the other two uh, that you got with it. So that's that's a thing, and then he can be like... I have a sword. Um, and then the shield um, would be there if I had it here. Let me go get it real quick. All right, sorry about that. I had uh, intended on leaving it on, but then there was a fiasco with getting this thing's arms on and off in prep. And he's going to tell you about that in a second. So, Okay, so now that is all right. So, yeah, that made a difference. Look at that. Okay, so now let's kind of just... Pick him up, and you can hear my chair moving. Sorry about that. Oh, sorry. Am I good? Okay. I'm going to turn... We're busy. Uh, where's the on... On-off switch. There we go. Okay, so I'm turning it on-off right there, just so it's not annoying in our faces. There's the tail I was talking about. Just fold it up in there. Obviously, you can move the wings out, as I already showed in the other mode, but it's kind of more prevalent in this mode, so that is a thing that you can do, so that's fun. Um, Articulation-wise, you can move his arms out a bit, uh, you can bend his arms a bit if you want to move this out of the way. It can help you a little bit. You can move their heads. You can move his leg forward. Knee bend. And like above knee bend, but actually pretty cool stuff there. Move it back. That's pretty good. Uh, same for the other leg. Same for the other arm, pretty much. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That was noises. Uh, twisting there. You can't move the head, you know, because of transformation. And you can't move the waist. But still... It's nice that you have that little bits of articulation. It's not going to be as good as the um, Ultimate Voltron, which is going to be the next review, spoiler alert. Um, it's not going to be as good as that, but it's nice just to have little bits because you can just sort of get a little bit more of a nice pose going, you know? So you're not just doing this pose right now, which is the boring, Dawson is lazy, just wants to have him standing pose. Okay, so a few more things we have to cover here. First, and most importantly, this little compartment. This is where the speaker is, which is funny. This is also where you put the little pilot, which is literally just nothing. You only have the, the like, shield visor thing painted. I don't care if I'm sticking it in there wrong. I don't even care if I'm sticking it in there, honestly. That's just, this review is dirty. It could be my mind, but I honestly don't care about getting this in there, but it's, it's happening. You're not going to go in there. I'm sorry, you're not riding the line today. Okay, but you can do that if that, you know, is what floats your boat. Um, so I, I just wanted to mention that. I just find it funny that you store this little nothing in the um, speaker compartment. That's just funny. And by little nothing, I didn't mean the character. I just meant, can we just... We, I didn't need that, to be honest. I didn't need these. I would have rather had, like, figures of the guys. Anyway, so now I want to mention something else. 
separating this guy. I don't think I'm going to try it. I might. I might get crazy. I'm already crazy. But, as I showed you, when you take the legs off, there's a little switch in the back. Super easy. Slides off like butter. The arms? Not so much. The arms are the worst thing I have dealt with this year. Granted, they're like five days in, but still. It, it's terrible trying to get them out of the sockets, especially since the legs have a removal button. So I was like looking for a removal button, because usually when the legs have a removal button, the arms will. So I looked on myself, not like my, my, my own body, that would be weird. But like I looked, and then I checked the instructions for all the lions. It was, whew, the worst. The good thing is, these are super tight. You're not going to have to worry about shaking this guy out and his arm falling off. Boom, there goes the table. Sorry about that. But yeah, it was pretty terrible. I spent a good 20 minutes uh, trying to uh, put this guy back into individual mode so I could actually do this review. So it's pretty terrible. The best way I have found um, is just getting really angry and pulling as hard as you can. That also sounded dirty. No. But I'm going to see if I can pull it off with red. I couldn't. Green took me forever. But what you're going to want to do, like I might not be able to pull it off on camera. And if I don't, trust me, this still is one of the best ways to do it. If you find a better way, let me know so I can share it with the world. Um, it's just, it's awful right now. But uh, you're going to want to fold this up so that the a little compartment here is facing towards you and then you're gonna want to basically um, pull at the same time as you push this toward the body definitely don't pull from here or here I feel like you'll break that I, f I was doing it that was my first five-year-old instinct was like boom and I'm like I'm probably gonna break this so I might not be able to do it oh damn it I did it yes so yeah that's how you do it I'm gonna put it back in cuz I'm a crazy person Actually, I'm gonna leave it like like light in there. Nope, he's he's gonna be a he's gonna be an amputee for the end of this review, guys. Just to show that because this represents my reviewing style, having an armless Voltron in the final verdict. But yeah, do that. Green, I definitely had a harder time with, but push after you pull that uh, flap up there, push towards so that this will sort of wiggle itself out and then yank. Um, but be careful, for sure. It's a pain. That's probably my least favorite thing about this thing, to be honest. Anyway, went on way too long about that. I apologize. Overall, I do like this thing. Like I said, there's something about the Black Lion that just I didn't like quite as much aesthetically, individually, um, as the individual uh, other four. I'm not sure why. Um, there's a little bit of problems with the way it looks. You know, it's not the best like most proportionately accurate. There's some of the white paint details missing. Um, but overall, I still really like this because I think it's a cool feat. I think you're still getting a cool package for each individual line if that's what you want. And if you eventually just get all of them, you get this cool robot that honestly, even though it's not perfect, is still pretty cool and impressive, impressive looking. Not to mention it has little bits of articulation. And also, the even though the sounds aren't 100% accurate to the show, they're very impressive, the way they work. Um, basically, this is a very impressive package. Um, I'm going to see how this compares to the Power Rangers Megazord, for sure. Um, I'll probably bring that up in that review, but right now, even though I know this is smaller, I'm liking the way this looks more and the way it seems to be working more, but yeah. So, bottom line is, I have talked way too long and I'm sorry. This thing is not perfect, but it's really cool. So if you want to pick up your favorite lions over time to do this, I think it's a really cool and fun toy experience. But yeah. So. That's about it. Watch out for the arms. They are duo the worst. Anyway, until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangersrambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.